Hello, my name is Bidipta, and today I'll be talking about our work on diverse conventions for human AI collaboration. An important idea in cooperative games is the notion of conventions, which are arbitrary solutions to recurring coordination problems. Humans naturally form conventions when working in a variety of settings. For example, in this fast NASCAR pit stop, we see how conventions enable all teammates to coordinate when changing tires, since everyone knows their responsibilities. Teams that train together naturally converge to conventions that enable smooth coordination. We can follow the same principle in multi-agent RL, where jointly training agents as a team also enables them to achieve extremely high levels of coordination. In this example, we see two AI agents achieve expert human-level performance in the game of Overcooked, where agents need to coordinate to make onion soup as fast as possible. However, humans often follow very different conventions, violating the assumptions that agents make when training with a single partner. The AI agent expects the green player to switch sides after delivering onions, so it fails to deliver the soup. One way to solve this issue is by training an agent that is aware of a diverse set of conventions. If you consider the space of all conventions, humans may follow some specific conventions, while an agent trained with self-play follows a very different convention. By finding a diverse set of conventions, we can then train an agent that is aware of a wide range of strategies. However, this raises a new question. How do we define diversity in this setting? Common diversity metrics in RL analyze statistical differences between policies, such as the differences between trajectories. For instance, the diversity loss used in ADAP maximizes the difference between the distribution of actions over all states. However, these metrics are easy to cheat. As we see in this example, the red and orange conventions are very similar, but follow entirely separate trajectories in terms of actions. Therefore, statistical diversity techniques can be easily tricked by changes in navigation. We instead turn to the task reward itself as a measure of similarity. Specifically, if two conventions work well together, as quantified by the crossplay score, they represent similar strategies. The prior conventions are compatible with one another, despite following different trajectories, so they are similar. Conversely, if two conventions have a low crossplay score, they are different. In this example, we see two conventions that delegate the same task of picking up onions to different players, leading to incompatible policies. Therefore, we can generate a diverse set of conventions by trying to minimize the crossplay between different conventions. For instance, to find a second convention, we can minimize the crossplay between the first convention and this new convention. However, crossplay minimization has a major issue. Agents are incentivized to do poorly under crossplay. In particular, agents can execute handshakes to determine the identity of their partner. In this example, we see the blue player place down a plate in a strange location to gauge the reaction of their partner. Under self-play, the green player knows to pick up the plate, acknowledging the handshake. However, under crossplay, the green player would not pick up this plate since this is not a useful action. The blue player can see this and intentionally sabotage the game. This cheats our diversity metric and results in a set of brittle conventions that are not representative of humans. The core issue is that there are some observations that are only experienced under crossplay, and agents can exploit this information to intentionally do poorly in those states. We would like to expand the space of valid self-play observations to ensure that agents always act in good faith. To do so, we introduce a new technique called mixed play. Mixed play works by randomly sampling between self-play and cross-play transitions for a random number of time steps, indicated by this vertical line. The first phase generates a state from a distribution that contains both self-play and cross-play states. This mixed state is used as the initial state for a self-play buffer, and agents are trained to maximize their rewards. By collecting these modified self-play buffers, agents can no longer confidently sabotage the game during cross-play states, since any cross-play state could appear in mixed play. Therefore, mixed play resolves the issue of handshakes. Our final algorithm, called Comedy, generates a diverse sequence of conventions using crossplay and mixplay. Each convention is trained to maximize its self-play rewards, minimize crossplay rewards, and maximize mixplay rewards to ensure that agents always act in good faith. We test the effectiveness of our method for human-AI collaboration in the game of Overcooked. We conducted a user study pairing people with various convention-aware agents generated using Comedy and various baselines. This figure shows the number of dishes served under various conditions. The solid horizontal line is the score when playing with an expert partner. The prior baselines of self-play, ADAP, and pure cross-play were much weaker than expert humans. We found that comedy was significantly stronger than prior baselines, even surpassing our expert human partner on average. Comedy also rated highly across qualitative metrics, like consistency and trustworthiness. Here we highlight real recordings of the green AI agent playing with a new human player in blue. Comedy outperforms self-play, which gets stuck at a state it has never seen before. Users were generally impressed with comedy's performance, with one reporting that comedy adapted to moves like you could see into the future. In summary, comedy enables us to train a diverse set of conventions, which can be used to create strong convention-aware agents for human AI collaboration. If you would like to play with our agents on your browser, scan the QR code on this slide. Thank you.